Hello everybody, it is me, Captain John, also known as Ace Pilot 109 and welcome back to yet another RC airplane video. In this video, I'm going to be flying this airplane. It's a pusher-puller design. Loosely based upon the infamous World War II German aircraft, the Dornier 335. Among the strangest the Germans experimented with was the Dornier 335. The Doe 335, just like the Measurement 262, was a relatively advanced aircraft for its time. Thankfully, too few were made to have any real effect on the war effort. Also being rushed into production, they had poor reliability compared to Allied aircraft that came just months later like the Meteor. Regardless of the politics of the war, the aircraft is undoubtedly insanely cool. And I decided to create my own pusher-puller with the 335 in mind. These kinds of aircraft are not common. Even planes like the Cessna Skymaster are rarely seen today. Now let's get on to the build. This is a very simple airframe, just a long rectangular fuselage with firewalls front and rear. The plane has both a top and a bottom vertical stabilizer to help with directional control. I like that they have a mid-wing high-wing design with no dihedral to get the aircraft a more sporty handling. The landing gear is not ideal. Problem with it being able to pitch up or uh, to rotate is definitely going to be there. The way that this kind of aircraft will take off is that it'll push the tail down. When you push the tail down, aircraft won't really be able to take off. So I'm just hoping that the insane thrust to weight ratio on this aircraft is just going to make so much lift that it kind of just lifts up off the ground. We had some snow last night, but the runway is clear and the winds are calm, so it's time to fly. All right, maiden flight. Here we go. Oh, okay. Woo! That's exciting. Here's full power. All right, I'm gonna try and land it uphill. Oh, not too bad. All right, this will be good. Get the camera facing forward. Almost kind of looks like one of those spy drones. A few uh, high-speed passes. What I'm gonna do here is take this video footage and align it with the lines on the runway and then time how long it takes me to travel that distance. This will give me a very good estimate of the speed. Keep in mind, I said estimate. This is not perfect, but it'll give me a good idea of the airspeed of the aircraft at full power. Alright, so there we go, three high speed passes. Not bad. Bring her into land. Well, everybody, I just want to say thank you for watching to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to see more content from me. And comment anything you want to see done with this aircraft. If you want to see more development, uh, let me know what you think. Maybe I could even try using this to dogfight someone. You never know. Thank you all a ton for watching, and I hope to see all of you in the next one.